fans, I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Arkansas State Indians and the Louisville Cardinals. Number one is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. This is one of the few kids in the nation who can take over a game at the offensive and defensive ends of the floor. The Cardinals will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Cardinals should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First of all, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Next, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. The center handles the feed. Doesn't go. They look to get it to the inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It is too much for him, and he lost possession. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He rejects it. The group handles the pass for the bucket. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Mosley picks up the foul. First personal foul. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Kicks it out. Got some room. Goes for the deep one. He drains the bucket. This is what posters are made from. it in. Picked out of the air. Darling receives the pass. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. DeGroote receives the ball. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Freedom Hall is going mad. Inside. Truck gets the rejection. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Step out on that screener. Louisville are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. From the top of the key, they've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Goes up for two. In and out. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Gave it up. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Trying to go inside. Takes the pass in the paint. He up fakes. They move it into the front court for the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Hawkins fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. He hits the second shot.
makes his third. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. The skip pass is picked off. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. They'll work it around the arc. For two, perfectly executed. Jones is feeling great out there right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Controlling the ball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Louisville are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. Did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he got great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. In the paint, he tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Great play to take that to the basket. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Vic Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Takes the shot. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. The Indians have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. They've left him completely alone. From the top of the circle. Louisville are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Looks at the three. Goes in. Freedom Hall is going mad. Entry pass in the paint for two. Perfectly executed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brian. Watch out, five second ball approaching. That's good. He attempts the three. 
The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. In the paint. There's the trap. Fakes the jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. And he'll kick it back outside. Looking for a good shot. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. They will line them up. Good. Terrible execution on offense. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. With a deep shot from outside. He shows the sweet touch. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. From the top of the key. He gets the shot to fall. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. The group comes up with it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. They work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there. But look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He is going to the line. First shot is good. And he got him 
move. They work the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. From right of the circle, off the rim and no good. It sticks. Let's take another look. For the bucket, and he missed. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And it's good. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Top of the circle. Oh, yes. That's a seven-zip run. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front. And his shot rejected. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Yeah, he's on fire. is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads a three. Louisville have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Take that to the basket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Buried it. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two and off the mark. That's basic. From way outside, scorches the net. And a momentary look from three-point land. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. On the top of the circle. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. 
Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. Take a look right here. defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Way off target. He hits the shot. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. <laughs> Wow, what hops, baby, what hops? Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see that up close. Team now, bad angle. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Up and inside. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. These fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Here's a flash from the post up high. Steals a pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. Will take the shot. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. On the outside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He hammers it home. Shot clock is dead. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. He shoots from outside. Goes. At the half, the Indians are trailing by 18. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Louisville 
is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Focus player update, Nick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do? I think they're going to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Tries to get the D to bite. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. Puts up the tray. You betcha. to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Blocks the shot. They just keep shutting the door. away the pass the pass is stolen hey he got a clean break on it this defender is resilient still applying pressure for two and in and out college basketball is special to me for that reason right there Dick. I'll tell you Brad those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride they don't call it the six man for no reason Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And it goes in. And the ball goes out of play. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy into it. Yeah, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special heart, feeding the post. Up and inside! Ten on the shot clock. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Up and in! They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. The center takes the feed for the deuce. Perfectly executed. 
The hall is going ballistic. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, baby. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's a and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. Up fake. There's the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a double team waiting there. Or two. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. The center. He blocks the shot. Pump fakes. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. In and out. And he scores despite the hack. He tries the jumper. Missed the jumper. On the outside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Misses the first shot. He makes his second shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the inside, the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Unloads. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. He puts up the three ball. He drains it. Look at this effort! Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He fires from long range. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. He 
Nobody's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He tries the three ball. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Working it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Gets it to fall. We'll get a better look on the replay. And now the fadeaway jumper. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Pressure that basketball. He goes with a jump hook. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turned it out. I definitely didn't expect this. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Full court pass. On the outside. He tries the three. It sticks. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. There's the pick. There's the roll. I'll tell you, Brad, what a breakdown defensively. Downtown. Got it. Puts it up looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Looking for a good shot. Almost lost the basketball. Goes up for two. They still don't score. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The Cardinals are ahead by 25. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes the pass in the paint. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his foot. And, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He steps up to the line. Makes the foul shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Hey, 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 hey. 
There's the trap. And they get the turnover. They're off into transition. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They work the perimeter. He gives him the fake. Stolen away. Dick, not a bad drop step. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Great play to take that to the basket. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Shoots from outside. Nice shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He goes for three. In and out. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Tries for two. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Picks off the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Got a man in high post. He tries to knock down the three. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Cross court. He's got some room. Launches away. He nails the shot. This is great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Intercepted. With a rejection. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. that ball movement get that good spacing from downtown way off target stop and 
pop. Off the rim and no good. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you've got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. On the inside for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Picked off. He shoots from long range. He gets it to go. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. He's money with a shot. He looks for the bomb. He nails the bucket. And he'll kick it back outside. Picked out of the air. From beyond the arc. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Moving it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. He has a chance to cash him in. Sinks it. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes the foul shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. The Cardinals have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Takes it off him. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Transition opportunity coming up. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Louisville wins tonight in a blowout. Well, they came in.